Okay, you guys, it is Friday. I feel like I have been trying to get this bathroom done for the past three days. And honestly, I just like today's the day. Today it has to get done. I have baby shower tomorrow. I have a birthday party on Sunday and I am supposed to be taking it easy, but clearly my life plans with a toddler and 30, almost 33 weeks pregnant are taking different turn. So this bathroom and the rest of the organization needs to get done today. I am quickly going to sort through the rest of this. This is literally where this has lived for the past three days. This needs to get organized completely. These bins didn't fit under my cabinet. So the last clip that you saw was definitely me organizing in here. And then we had a power outage. We had a power outage, which was like late at night, but I obviously stopped filming because it went pitch black. So I'm going to quickly finish up this bathroom and then I would really like to clean out my bedside cart today because it's full of just junk and I would like to just get all the stuff spaced out for what I need. I do have packages coming in like I had mentioned um, from Prime with all my like breastfeeding snack and cart stuff. Um, which I am going to put in these new bins that I got from Marshalls because I can't stop buying bins. Clearly, I just keep purchasing them and I'll show you what they look like. They stack, which is great. So these um, can pop open these little tabs on the side and they'll just like stack on top of each other. I'm not entirely sure where they're going yet, but they will have a home. So I have those. I have the rest of these that I can do and I shifted some things around with the bottles. I got this one in which is like literally a bottle like organizer. So that one I got in and then I just moved some things up here. So that is what it is looking like at the moment and I just want to get this stuff finished. I have the um, bottle warmer there. I'm not entirely sure if we're even going to start bottles for a while, but I just want to have everything ready to go because you never know how things can transpire, whether breastfeeding works or does not, um, tongue ties, all those things. So I am going to catch my breath and then we are going to crack away at this really quickly and then hopefully get to my bedside cart today. So in the girls' bathroom, um, I just put our kneeling pads down here. These are from um, Lalo. This is the Frida little cup that I got. Um, so that's just gonna live there for easy grabbing right next to the bathtub. Up here is like her scrubbies, some washes, her tallow butter, the baby ointment, which I might move to my diaper cart either that or the tallow so this is kind of just loosely put in here and then um up here i have this is our hospital grade nasal aspirator i also have the frida windies this is kind of like baby care stuff with nasal spray a thermometer this is like the frida chest stuff i also have the maddie's chest rub which i like that one a lot we have her um, nail filer. We have some the 
Breathe Frida's, and here are her oral cleaners. And then up here, this is more Alviana's hair stuff. This one is empty. I'll probably put baby towels in this one. And then on the sides here, we just have some of the um, Frida Cools. I have Band-Aids for Avi. And then on this side, I just put a nose picker, her hairbrush. These are some travel size um, little soaps and stuff. So that is what this is looking like so far. This is actually her cleaner from getting her ears pierced, which we'll probably do with baby two as well. So this is what the back of that is looking like for the moment. Since I did change some things around here, I just wanted to go over exactly what this looks like now. So over here, I did decide to put her vitamin D drops. I did have some like probiotic samples and then these are, um, if she gets like a cold, you can use these the little patches. They're just like all organic. So I might just move these back into the bathroom now that I have a more organized space for those. These are the Noon Hydration. I really like these because they're tablets and they're fizzy. So these are going to be kind of like breastfeeding friendly stuff. We have some Gatorade packets. I got in the Armor Body Armor um, Flash IVs. I'll bring a few of these in my hospital bag as well. And then behind here I have the Travel Bottle Warmer. I don't think this is going to get much use, but I have it here just in case. In this container here, I did condense like the LV Curve, my Boon Trove, and the Hakka Ladybug with my catch and my nipple guards are in the back. And then up here, I did bottle nipples and caps and then the like travel caps and the stoppers for traveling. Like I had mentioned, I picked up this bottle dispenser acrylic container and this works way better for the bottles. So I know that they're not gonna tip over. So this is what we are using for that. And these are the funnels to pour breast milk or um, formula if that is the route that we end up having to go. And then in the back here, I just have the sleeves for the glass bottles. On the second shelf up here, I just do have my wearable breast pump stuff. Sorry, the lighting is really, really strong, but this is the Mom Cozy. I do have the LV Stride coming in, but that will probably live on my breastfeeding cart. These are some um, milk bottles for pumping um, from my Medela the first time around. I have caps here for them as well. This is all breast milk storage bags, <laughs> like all breast milk storage bags. There's a lot in there. And then these are the Medela Quick Clean Sanitizers. And then I also have the Quick Breast Pump Part Wipes, which I might move to my breastfeeding cart just because if I do have to use it, I can just wipe it down quickly in my cart. I can wash it while I'm here. Up top, I put in my extra um, Medela pump from the first time. I do think this time around, that will probably not get much use because being tied to a wall is not the move with two kids. So it was great for my daughter, but honestly, I just felt completely attached to the wall every time that I had to use that. So I am looking forward to having the LV stride and being able to pump on the go so that will live in my hospital car that one's back up just in case I do need it or for some reason I don't love the other pumps I know that one I know that one worked well so I do have that one that is the Medela pump in style hey you guys it's a few days later I am just getting ready to actually stock up this diaper bag because I have not even thought that that was something I needed to do up until like last night um I looked at Matias and was like oh I don't have like a diaper bag ready for the girls. So I am kind of tailoring this diaper bag slightly different than just newborn. I want to include some things for my toddler just so that if I have to put things in there for her, it's like there's like one designated section for her stuff. Um, obviously she doesn't need much, but I do like to have like um, a bib in there in case we do something extremely messy. We're kind of past bibs, but like, Things like that. Probably like one pull up. Sorry, these necklaces have been bothering me so much. It's the only problem with layered necklaces. So I do want to put in a couple of things like that. 
for the girls, but I definitely needed to pack this. Um, I am going to be using my freshly picked um, bag. This one is just this sage color, I believe, but I wanted to use this one since it is a full diaper bag. The freshly picked one that I'm using currently is kind of like my quick grab bag, which I will kind of get that ready. I think once she's here, because there's no reason to carry a newborn diaper around right now. Um, since that's like my everyday use bag. So this one's just going to kind of live packed and ready to go. I will have the diaper caddy stuff in the car, which will be in the next vlog, um, which I'm probably gonna start tomorrow and just finish this one out here. But I have that stuff together and um, that's gonna be going into the car shortly. So let's quickly just throw some things in here for baby girl and Aviana. I am going to try to keep this diaper bag extremely minimal um, only because if we are going on a longer trip, then I can just always add more things. But for the most part, I'm just going to pack the essentials of what I know that I use with a baby every single time I go out somewhere. I will not be including like big blankets and stuff like that. I always keep one in the car just because I think that's the best place for it. And then if you need it, you can grab it. It doesn't have to be something that you lug around with you. Um, just keeping the diaper bag a little bit more minimal and lighter. So the first thing that I am gonna put in here is my gather changing pad. These are lifesavers. Um, they are the wipeable vegan leather and they just fold up nice and small. I did have a changing pad that came with my freshly picked bag. And to be completely honest with you, I think I have left it in a bathroom when I was changing Avi when she was like three months old. I haven't had a changing pad in here for quite some time. And um, I also am going to be including these little reusable ones from Frida Baby. So I'm just going to stick those in there as well. Because personally, I don't like using a changing pad in like a public restroom. Only because the public restroom is just so gross that I feel like I can't actually get this clean enough for my liking. So I would go ahead and use one of these if I have to use a public changing mat. This I would use more so like in the car and stuff like that. Or if I'm like at a friend's house, I can lay this down. Um, but other than that, I will use the disposable ones. You can pick up a big box of them on Amazon. I do like just having them in the house. I think they're really good and you like universal for things. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the place where the changing pad is supposed to be in this diaper bag with this as well. The next thing I'm gonna put in is obviously some diapers. These are just the Huggies Natural special delivery ones that I got on clearance. Um, so we're gonna use up these. I'm gonna just put three newborn. I don't know how long this baby will be a newborn, so this can always be adjusted, but I'm gonna put three newborn and then just to be safe and to use these up, I'm going to be trying to get rid of some of these things. Now the lighting is super bright right now, but this one is by Parasol and these are Healthy Baby. Um, both of these are really nice and clean diapers. So I was really lucky that I got all of those in my box from Babylist but these are size one. They are, however, seven to 14 pounds. So this one comes with two, they're very soft. This one is also a size one, seven to 12 pounds. These are like a little bit bigger, obviously, than the newborn, but will fit for a seven pound baby, which I'm pretty sure she's gonna be about seven pounds. So these size ones are just gonna go on the other side of the diapers. Next thing I'm putting in there is obviously a pack of wipes. We are going with Honest Wipes this time around. So these are going to just live in the corner here. The next thing I'm going to put in is like just like a little change of clothes and a hat. Um, I like to always have one hat in the bag at all times when they're newborns just because you never know where you're going to go. This is from Gomi. It's just like a little knit one, but it's a very thin knit. So um, it has like some like see that you can like kind of see through it's not too heavy this is a newborn size yeah this is size newborn so this is small enough for her head and won't like pull down over eyes and then i'm just putting in one of these cloud island footless sleepers and just one of the cheaper walmart sleepers that i picked up that does have feet um the little sushi is very cute but these are just going to go into a pocket that way if we have a blowout gotta change um i don't love to put like my super nice sleepers in there only because i like to have them in the house 
So these are kind of like, if I need to grab them or if they get ruined, fine, it is what it is. Um, I do have to grab a wet bag. I always like to have a wet bag in my diaper bag for baby blowouts, but that is in Avi's room currently and she is in the middle of a nap and we are not waking up that situation. One good burp cloth. I do have these little muslin ones as well. These are actually washcloths, but they are smaller, which I kind of like for the diaper bag because then you can just tuck it in. Or if like, if you're somewhere, you just need to do a mouth wipe. You don't need like a whole burp cloth. Um, that's always nice. And then when you're actually burping, I do bring one nice one in the diaper bag. This one is from the brand Copper Pearl. They're nice and thick. So when you do use it on your shoulder, like nothing is going through this. It's not gonna get like saturated and gross, which is what I personally find happens with the muslin ones from Amazon. So I personally like the Copper Pearl best. And like I said, I'm gonna throw in a small one as well, just to have for like mouth wipe situation. And I normally actually keep this one on the outside just for a quick grab if needed. Next, I'm just gonna put in two bibs. Normally, I don't really use these for quite some time with baby, um, just cause when they're so small, you don't really need them for like a drool bib. It is nice if you do want to use like a bottle while you're out instead of breastfeed, or even if you are breastfeeding, sometimes you leak on baby, like it just happens. So I am just gonna tuck these in here as well. All right, and the next few things are more like obby geared. I'm just gonna put in one pull up, which she's like pretty much not using anymore, but just to have it. I am gonna put one of these collapsible bibs, which this company is really cool. I'm gonna see if I can find them on Amazon, but I know for sure the store that I used to work at sells them. They're called More Peas. And it is a like rollable bib situation and you can even put your silverware or whatever you want to use for baby lead weaning and stuff in there. Like I said, Avi doesn't really use bibs anymore, but let's say we go somewhere and it's like a super mess situation or she's like in a nicer outfit. I will use them if we're like out to dinner for some like event or something. I will use them just to keep their outfit a little bit cleaner. I always bring a pack of wellies. This one specifically is actually their travel pack which is kind of nice because inside they have like antibiotic ointments um, and I think this is like a hand sanitizer, yeah. And then they have a few large and a few small. So this is a nice travel one. I will go ahead and link these below if you have not tried these Band-Aids, moms, get on them. They are seriously the best. I actually use them for myself because they stay on better than the ones that I get for us. We really like that brand. The next thing I'm gonna do is just bring in her table cards. These are like her matching little giraffe um animal pigs ducks all that so these we like to use for restaurants and stuff so this is a good little activity and it doesn't take up much room and i just keep them in a the little ziploc bag and i'm just gonna tuck that right in there this is what the inside of the bag is looking like right now um as you can see it's like not crazy full i don't really like to fill it all the way up where i have to take all these things out to access things like, I feel like whatever's in here, I should be able to just like look at and know what I have. The very few things that I'm gonna add to the front pocket are actually for me more so. I always love to have a little sunscreen or something for myself or even for Abby if we're gonna be at the park, like even in the fall, like the sun is still strong. So I do like to put it on her face just to keep her like covered. I always like to have a pack of gum in the diaper bag, a Tide to Go pen. This makes a huge difference if you do not have a stain remover on you and you have a very serious situation <laughs> but it also just helps like keep your baby clothes cleaner before you hit the wash if you have your um travel wet bag on you which like i said i'm planning to grab once abby wakes up from her nap and then just like a mini purell or hand sanitizer of some sort i also have the touchland but that one is in my hospital bag at the moment so that will also probably come into this bag um, if not, it'll live in the car diaper caddy, something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and definitely a pen. I don't know why, but every single bag I have has to have one pen in it. And that is surprising. But ever since I started doing that, it has been a game changer because I feel like I always need a pen when I don't have one. So if you just keep one that lives in your bag at all times, you never have that problem. That is all the things that we have in baby girl's diaper bag. Like I said, super minimal. 
I'm not doing excessive breast pumps, um, bottles, and things like that. I do have a small cooler bag, the little um, top handle black one from Freshly Picked that is specifically just for bottles. So if that is something that is needed, that's just packed separately. I tend to not keep it in the physical diaper bag. Um, that's just how I do things. Like I said, I don't really keep blankets in the bag. I just feel like that weighs so much and like you don't always have to have a blanket. Um, and if you do, I keep it in the car and then just bring it with me. If I'm not wearing baby and she's in the car seat, it's gonna go in the car seat. So I don't need to have it physically in my diaper bag. The next thing that I'm gonna do super quickly is actually create a diaper caddy for this living room. It'll be nice just to have a diaper caddy that I can like work around the house with me. I do have downstairs um, a small little like clear bin that I've put a couple diapers in the basement so that they just like live there. If I'm down there, I can just use that. But I do wanna just have one little nice diaper caddy up here. And one of my sweet friends, she actually sent it to our house. I'm not even sure how she found my registry because I haven't shared it or anything like that. It was just like something that I had for myself. And she found my registry and purchased the diaper caddy that like I had thought was super cute. Um, but I'm gonna show that to you right now and then we're just gonna quickly fill that. I may or may not close out this vlog just depending on what we're doing for the rest of the day. This is the diaper caddy that my friend Michelle purchased for us. It is like this boucle material. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed in my living room, but that is the vibe. I have like back here is my boucle chair. I have boucle pillows. I have like um, this little checkered blanket that has like boucle mixed in. So I'm a big fan of that material and I thought this would be really sweet just to have in this space and kind of just go with the vibe anyway. The other thing that sold me on this was the compartments. Um, it wasn't your traditional, like some of them like cut in half and then just have like one little cut center. This one has a large center and then four individuals, which I think is a better setup only because this here I'll do with all diapers and then everything else categorized. I'm gonna quickly put together some things in this basket and then I just remembered a few things that I now need to put in my diaper bag. So I'm actually glad I'm doing this while I have the diaper bag behind me. So let's just quickly put this together and then um, I'll come back to you and just kind of explain what I put in here. quickly go over like what exactly I put in here. Everyone's diaper caddy is going to look completely different based on what they need. Um, I live on a one floor, like we have a split level, which I guess you can kind of see there. So downstairs is just the basement. So everything else is up here. So I don't need like a crazy amount of things, just kind of like the immediate. So I went ahead and filled these. These are just the newborn um, diaper brand diapers. So I just put these in here. I did go ahead and actually put a pack of water wipes as opposed to the Honest brand, only because um, those couple first weeks, <laughs> the poop is really, really gross. So, um, you know, with the tarry, sticky poops, and this just makes it a little bit easier when they're baby babies. And then in this corner here, like I said, I love some reusable changing pads. If there is a huge, huge blowout, this is what I will be choosing over this. Um, this is a Gather changing pad. This was actually gifted to me from Gather, so shout out to them. If you have not used Gather before, I do have a link for their um, products. I would love for you to shop them through my link. Um, so I will link them below, but thank you for Gather to sending me this. That was really sweet of them. And then over here, I have two muslin swaddles. These I include in my diaper caddy because 
if I need to use them for nursing or even just swaddling and like using in the lounger, this is a go-to. That way I don't have to go and go into her drawers for that. So this just lives two muslin swaddles over here. In this corner, I have two burp cloths. These are from the brand Gomi. They are like pretty decent. They're still a little thin, but um, they'll be fine for what I need them for in just like the living room. And then I have one of these little onesies. This is a zero to three, so it might be big for a little bit, but that's fine. And that was just from the baby box that I got in. And then I just have one zipper onesie from Target in a size newborn. This next little pouch over here is actually like all mom stuff um, slash breastfeeding in here. Um, this is the first time that I'm trying the Freedom Mom No Mess Nipple Balm. If you have used it before and liked it, please let me know. I'm like an Earth Mama girl. I love the Earth Mama um, nipple butter, but I just have one of them for now, which if I don't love that, I can just go get another one, but I figured I'd try it. I have my Ladybug Haka. This was going to live in the cabinet, but honestly, it just makes kind of more sense to just have it in here if I'm nursing, then I don't have to go up and get it. I also have just one set of nursing pads. Um, I do plan to use them for the first couple of weeks while my milk is still regulating and hopefully that um, I can get the rest out with my Haka Ladybug or my Trove or whatever I'm using at that moment. This is a little hack for moms with toddlers. This is the bag my nursing pads came in, but it also makes a wonderful snack pouch. If you have toddlers, you know for a fact that if these are just sitting in there, they are gone because kids see snacks and they're for them. So this is my like little stash pouch, I guess you would call it, of snacks um, that will live in here so that if I need a quick snack, I can grab them without getting up. And these stay clear from my toddler's little hands. Lastly, I do have like a little hair clip. Um, this can also just like live in here, but um, I do have a little hair clip because I like to have something as an option to put my hair up if I need to. Um, to be honest with you, I kind of like leave these open I don't really put too much in there. And then the other thing that I need to put in are these little poop bags. We actually have decided this time around to not do a diaper pail and just to stick to these because the diaper pail to me is just so gross and stinky. And to be honest, all of them advertise that they keep the smell out. And I think it's all a lie. They really do not. These are going to live in this diaper bag as well. So I'm just gonna tuck them probably in the side there. I do need to put a roll in my diaper bag as well. It's a little later in the day already and I just wanted to quickly show you what I have done over here for baby girl. Um, Avi just went down for a nap and I myself am also going down for a nap because baby is coming within the next week and I just need to get myself as rested as possible. So I'm just gonna take a little nap in a minute but let me just show you what I've done over here. In this corner, I kind of just moved some of Avi's toys. I do need to go through these over here because they're just like taking over a little bit. But over here, I just put down this like larger mat and I can do like diaper changes on this as well. But this is baby girl's rocker for up here. And it does have back here like a little anchor that it can rest on just like this one here. And then in this little mushroom thing, I just have some toys. This is more like future stuff for her. Um, I'm gonna bring up some black and white things for this as well. And then I just tucked the diaper caddy back there. So this is gonna be her little changing station. Originally I was thinking over here, but there's a vent right over there. So I think this is just gonna be a better situation. And that way, if I'm sitting on the couch, I can have her there and play with Avi, so. That's the plan for right now. I'm gonna close out this vlog here. I wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me in a little bit of like day in the life slash finishing this nesting. And yeah, I am 38 weeks today and tired and ready to go. So yeah, we have about a week or so left and baby girl should be making her arrival very shortly. I'm gonna go get some rest, but I will catch you guys in the next vlog. My hospital bag video is gonna be coming out so shortly, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you all soon.